All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to these divinity, these divine tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers. Welcome to all the new subscribers. <laughs> Thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful monthly pick a card reading. And we're doing this a little bit differently, y'all. So I'll get into all of that in the past selection. But before we dive into this issue, go without saying, please do um, check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this. You may currently be going through this and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit asks for you within the reading or reading. Now, I know I just said all that about time and energy being fluid, which it is. However, you will notice as we get into the past election that I kind of associated time, if you will, just for a sense to chrono chronicle it or for chronology purposes but like I said we're doing this a little bit differently so you really just never mind all that because it is what it is so take it you know take it as it resonates because even though I'll have a month assigned to each pile but even though um, it says that month it still may resonate for you whenever you view this which may not be that month right um, or it could have already happened and or maybe a prophetic message to come within that month or whenever, you know, doesn't matter y'all depends on your timeline as well. So keep in mind too, that they are general, not all may apply to you and that's perfectly all right. Take what does and let the rest fly. I may not be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I do not know. Only you know your life. So use your free will and discernment to determine that. All right. Do not force that shoe to fit if it doesn't. I am not responsible for your feet, your toes, and currents hurting because you decided to force something that wasn't meant for you. I also do not subscribe to gender roles over here, but you will hear me say he, she in reference to masculine and or feminine energy. Just depends. We all have them both within us. So again, flip flop yourself as you need to. Apply it where it lies, otherwise let it fly. All right. And then finally, I am big on numerology. Whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day or month you're born, or even the house you want to pay particular attention to within your natal chart. Again, that, that all depends. It could just be message of confirmation or for you to pay particular attention at that time because it may be something in that for you, okay? Now, moving into pile selection, um, you'll see here, this is still pile one, but it will technically be October. This is pile two, November, and then pile three, December. But like I already said, that really doesn't matter. You may be drawn to all of them, which is perfectly fine because they're all for you, Cancer. But uh, one may be sticking out to you or calling to you much more. It just could be maybe what you're going through at the time or, you know, what you may need to focus on more than the others. However, whatever, I don't know. All right. Again, it also could just be you witnessing this in the lives of someone or someone's somebody's, you know, close to you. OK, I, you know, I, I don't know. And then I could just be talking about the energy overall, like collectively or, you know, globally. I have no idea, <laughs> you know, just whatever spirit brings to me. OK. All right. But I can guarantee you it's a message for somebody out there. All right. So like I say all the time, if someone... I mean, whether or not really someone comes to mind, but especially if they do share it with them, you never know how it may bless them. OK. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get a quick word of prayer before we dive into this. To the most high, heavenly and divine angels, ancestors, spirit guides, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much for this day, for this opportunity, for these blessings. Thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages to the collective straight and clear. No chaser. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I pray that whatever this energy or vibe that's going on, you help us stabilize it, balance it, stay um, grounded. I pray that the message is always uplifts, enlightens, strengthens, heals, protects, nurtures, nourishes, just whatever the viewer may need at the time of viewing and may it play out in whoever lives that it's meant to for the highest good as I know you will see fit. For this and all other blessings I come, ask and give thanks yet again. Ashe. I share, I share all. All right, y'all. 
without further ado let's go ahead and get into the interesting thing y'all and i have not really been called like to bring forth necessarily uh focused channeled messages but to you because i had started off prior to y'all i had to redo the whole thing because i started off trying to do a message for gemini for whatever reason and i've already done gemini right so y'all may have something to do with the gemini you may have that heavy in your chart it may be talking about something during gemini season which at the time of filming that is to come we are currently in Taurus season but i'm telling you it's something big about that and i was like it was an energy or a vibe of frustration because for the tarot the bottom of the deck the overall under our energy was the five of swords and, and immediately when that came out because that's the first deck that i pulled from and immediately when that came out i was like oof like uh-uh you know so and that is definitely i got and i was going to tell them had i got into the reading that um i definitely was feeling that energy like that's their energy right so something about the gemini uh energy you i just heard gemini moon as i got distracted but uh some of y'all may that may be confirmation if you're gemini moon i don't know uh whether in traditional or vedic astrology so that may be something for you if so like there's something in this if whatever's been whatever is calling you is the reason okay <laughs> it's something in there strong for you so um anyway let's go ahead and get on into this okay i wanted to do say that to all of y'all before i got into each pile all right all right welcome my beautiful cancerians for those of you who chose this pile pile number one this is the pile and these are the messages for you keep in mind we are diving deeper into this balance energy okay and i love this card i don't know why i mean i'm just i'm all about balance these days peace and harmony and that's exactly what i get from this lotus here in the center especially with that blue i mean it's like blue and green and it speaks screams to me about your heart your throat third eye and even some crown chakra energy with this purple all around it um very much so higher chakra energies that that are needing to be balanced but even before you get there uh you have got to start from the bottom now we hear it right drake so which I feel like in speaking of that balanced energy, which is generally like the number four and the number six may be important to you because that those two uh, definitely speak heavily of that for me. Um, so you may have been born in the month of April. You may have been born in the month of June or maybe even the 6th of April specifically and um, the four, or the, even the fourth potentially or even the fourth or sixth of June. I did say something about that Gemini energy. So that's very much so confirmation for many of you. All right. Um, there's also something about, let's see, two, four, six, eight, something about the number eight, two, or as well. Let me say it like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and seven. What is that? 52, 56, right? Which is, that's powerful. So either seven or eight. So you could even be a, 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 a July Gemini, right? Early July. Um, and or of course cancer right or august cancer something about that like am i saying that right <laughs> hold on uh no i'm not a late july cancerian early or late july cancerian either way okay <sighs> um and even i got I, I know that's not 50 what is that uh yeah that's that's 56 right so but i said 52 first so that may that may be somebody's age that may be something uh big for you hold on and that's interesting y'all too because when i pause it um there's a family that said they just saw a coyote on the other side of like where i'm recording and so it's that's interesting because that may be a um spirit guide told them for you i don't know wow i don't know look that up and see what resonates for you but um but i was saying about the number 52 like somebody you know or you may be uh 52 years young or even 56 right and then with the the 52 still goes back to the seven and then the 56 is potentially the number 11 so it's something about maybe a new beginning or a new journey or a change in that is what i'm feeling okay the card itself says i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment powerful it's and i get some enlightenment energy i can't help but to that's interesting that's very powerful all right let's see what this has to do with for you 
So your topper here is, ooh, look at that. Clan of the Wolf Heart. Ain't that kind of the same family? <laughs> the Coyote family? That's interesting. The number 14, uh, one moving into that four, which I said is the stability, the balance, right? And, and together that is the five and it's all for your growth. That's what this thing is all about always. Um, clan of the wolf heart and something definitely heavy with this heart chakra and in that number four and i'm telling you it's something about like the growth and the maturity therein and even with this clan i get like a uh, heavy um tribal like soul tribe if you will or even i mean i said it like tribal energy and look at that she it's just like i don't even know what that is but at first when i saw that i, I heard um scales so it's like balancing that libra and energy may have something to do with the libra it says we are the ones we've been waiting for deep within this i get that inner child energy yeah birthing that opening that up instinctive that's what i heard with that wolf and even with that coyote energy it's like follow your instincts it's, it's all this is all about balance here with the i don't know if that's a rose or even i, I heard lotus at first but either way so look at here, you got all kind of animal spirit totems in here. You got the hawk, the eagle, the, what is that? A shark? I'm trying to see, y'all. Look like a horse or even a unicorn. Um, no. That look like a cobra, too, at her throat, on her necklace or at her throat chakra. That's interesting. Interesting. We'll read this um, in a minute. We'll get to that in a minute. And this as well. This is the divine abundance, which we'll get to it towards the end, okay? Let's see what this has to do, deal with for you. Oh, yeah. The nine of wands in reverse. This is sage energy for me. Could be any fire sign, but I get heavy sage energy with this. And this is uh, when, I, when I flipped it over and said, oh, yeah, this is about surrendering. You are ready to do that because you know that that's, that's the only way to get peace, you know? It's like don't you ain't got to fight anymore don't fight so hard that's exactly what that is okay i like that i like that plus it's like going back to the eight of wands is what i'm feeling and um so maybe there is something uh well yeah something that you need to communicate about and to whom i don't know but it may be to the sage maybe to that gemini which wow gemini is all about that communication energy and these are trying to fly away from me <laughs> this wind is not playing hold on I don't want to have to pin them down, but this this one, and I feel like when I was shuffling, no, it may be this one. Anyway, they still was trying to fly away. We'll see what that is, because that's really trying to be seen. Look at this. Wow. Eight of Cups in reverse. It's not the Eight of Wands, but it's the Eight of Cups. This, I don't really think I quite like this in reverse, because it's like, I heard some of y'all not really trying to, may not be trying to, um, you may be stuck in the illusion, right? Um, and or you're not wanting to move from the past which was no longer serving you that's generally what this is upright so um, and I do feel like this is your energy and I generally get like Scorpio or even possibly Pisces a little stronger than you but I do feel like this is some of y'all's energy especially with it being center of your reading but it's like no let's let's turn this around so that you can leave what is you know what is no longer for you behind that's the whole point. That's the whole point in growth and the journey, which is kind of what that nine of wands is talking about, too. OK, come on, when you, 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 you come on now, y'all. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, see. Yeah. And it's like, why wouldn't you want to walk away from this? Which I feel like that's that's the whole goal. Right. I like to see this in reverse because it's like no longer are you stuck, stagnant. And confused about any kind of rejection you know that you know that any type of rejection is just god's protection you may have had been lost and stuck financially you know what i'm saying took a loss took a hit um things frozen is what i heard something may have been frozen your assets may have been frozen i don't know but i feel like you're coming out of that especially with that five energy now you're moving up, up out of that we may have to lay these down y'all so that they don't go flying away oh hold on hold on okay sorry about that but yeah so i don't know i feel like some of y'all and i feel that may be what is needing to be balanced out just like the way the, the way you may feel about whatever situation you may have maybe coming out of 
And even though this is really talk, strongly to me talking about more physical or material or tangible, you know, uh, currency, if you will. But as, as we know, if you don't know, currency is the same energy and vibration of that of love, of that of the heart chakra, which is really screaming heavy for y'all, right? So <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is it's like whether or not it has something to do with the physical, which it's still... Uh, metaphorical even or or symbolic of what's going on internally and vice versa so it's really all inclusive what i'm trying to say um i feel like many of you are maybe stuck in limbo as to um i just heard do i stay or do i go but it's like it's like you know you need to move forward but you're like you're still second guessing is that the right decision or something like that and it's like you may be stuck especially with this eight of cups in the center and that's that emotional energy you kind of you kind of feeling you weigh in your heart and you feeling a little i feel heavy I, you feel a little heavy within your heart chakra as far as i don't know walking away from this relationship that may have left left you out in the cold feeling lost rejected stuck stagnant frozen you know what i'm saying uh and it's like yeah you need to move on <laughs> that's the advice you need to move on you know allow yourself to grow and or whoever this has to deal with there needs to be balance. Whatever this situation is, there needs to definitely be balance brought into it. Okay? All right. Let's see what this, uh, what your divine abundance is potential. Look at here. Look. Leo energy. Have the courage to just walk away, baby. You know? That elephant energy, that's resilience to me. But it's powerful because it's like, you know, that it takes strength. That's, oh, wow, baby. Thank you so much. It takes strength to surrender. That's the biggest. It's, it. it it, a lot of times your courage and strength and, and, and resilience is not measured by you continuing to fight, especially if it's not for you. Like, why? Why would you keep putting yourself in that situation? You know, because when one door closes, another one has a chance to open and it may it not even may. It definitely will be much better, bigger and brighter for you. It's time for a new journey. That's why I was given that uh, 5611 energy potentially. It says, let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. And I feel like the divine is trying to guide you, but many of you are really just stuck. You stuck, I don't know. Like I said, stuck in the illusion, basically. Don't, I just heard, don't sell yourself short. Don't feed yourself bullshit just because you, you want to force it to work when it's not. That's the worst you can do, you know? I don't know, but let's go ahead and get into the reading because they can be a little lengthy, okay? Clan of the Wolf Heart, number 14, pages 84 through 87, but what I will read to you ends on 86, okay? Clan of the Wolf Heart, we are the ones we've been waiting for. You belong to the Clan of the Wolf Heart. This is a soul tribe, what I say, with boundaries beyond bloodlines and geography. It is based on soul connection to love's wisdom and higher truths of great spirit. The clan is united through wolf medicine in the heart. These are the qualities of the divine feminine that unify, allowing for a palpable experience of oneness that brings power to our collective wisdom and purpose. And that's powerful because they stopped at me because I forgot to show y'all the overall under all energies for each of the decks. So for the tarot, you got the Knight of Pentacles, which is heavy earth energy, Taurus strong, possibly even Virgo and or Cappy included. Whoever, it doesn't matter. Maybe not even either one of them. But then for the divine abundance, you got look at this beauty <laughs> and look at the arms just spread, like open up your heart to love. Okay. It says, when you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. And I love that. That's this that surrendering energy. Surrender to the agape love, y'all. Okay. And then, which we'll get into a heavier in the wrap up. So stay tuned for that. But for the uh, toppers here, the overall under all energy, I don't even know. It's, I don't know, I'm not going to butcher that name, but it's turquoise changing woman. And the number two, which is all about bringing that divine masculine and femininity together for me. Okay. Choosing to do so because it's always a choice. You got free will. That's why I'll be trying to tell y'all. Anyway, let's finish this. In a reading, reach out for help from others, which you honor and respect your individuality in your own unique life journey. That's powerful because it's moving. It's a great segue into Pal 2, which talks about the relationships. And you are going to need. <laughs> I love how Ari, uh, uh, Ari Lennox put it. She said, uh, what song is that? New Apartment. 
or apartment it might just be called apartment but um at the end she when she do her little monologue or whatever she said i need people you know she realized all her stuff all her possessions ain't gonna ain't gonna do it for her. it's not gonna fulfill her because we do we we are social creatures we're meant to be so you are gonna have to foster or you know work on this relationship and very much so especially moving into your third pal it may have to do and me having that channel with that gemini energy it very well so may have to do with a geminian or whoever like during the during the season or time of gemini because um but and like i said already though gemini is the sign of communication so it just may be something no matter who what sign the person is you have something heavy to communicate with them okay or you need to somebody need to maybe they speaking this to you i don't know but anyway balance social time with taking care of your own individual needs including the need for time out in solitude to hear your inner truths and renew yourself Anger can be a sign for, and look at that, they said all about that balance, right? I told you that's exactly what that is. Her arms and everything in that card reads balance, like the scales, Libra and energy, okay? And Libra, look, as the relationship falls over, <laughs> Libra is all about those relationships, right? <laughs> that's the house. I mean, it rules the house of relationships. I'm going to sit these down so they won't keep falling over. But yeah, somebody's needing to forgive somebody. I don't know who or for what. It really don't matter for what. It just the, the energy of forgiveness in your relationships is, is really strong and, and bringing balance to them. Anyways, anger can be a sign from the soul, a sacred gift that asks you to deal with a situation, to bring about something different and more empowering. Use your anger as a sacred gift with compassion and clear purpose. Fight wholeheartedly when you need to safeguard what truly matters. Be open to a greater guiding wisdom so that you know when to be merciful and when to cut something off completely. Believe in the power of your inner voice and do not silence yourself. Spiritual Guidance Through the wolf heart, we are soul kin. Wolf star external identities may shift and change with circumstance. Our soul tribe is fixed in the heart of the wolf way. It is the backbone of the emerging new world culture. This began as an alternative culture, but is now growing stronger in numbers, becoming more pervasive in consciousness and in influence and in power. It is rising up as a saving grace, guiding the human race into new order. And that's what's so important about bringing this balance into whatever relationships. I get strong family vibes now. And, um, and uh, yeah, just soul tribe. And again, family don't just got to be blood, okay? So, however, when we remember that we are on the same team, fighting for the same greater purpose, we can forgive, look at that, and encourage each other, not take it too personally, and continue to effectively harness the power of what we can accomplish together. Wolf medicine bestows the qualities of endurance, inner wisdom, and community. Wolves mate for life, and the wolf clan has an organized social structure that includes a balance between group endeavor and individualism. The social order of the wolves provides support, loyalty, and thriving, and yet wolves are free-spirited animals. I love that. Wolf wisdom teaches us how to balance solitude and socialization, like I was just saying. <laughs> it teaches that both are needed for the well-being of others and our clan. Wolf wisdom teaches us to share ourselves without losing ourselves. I love it. The howl of the wolf is primal and powerful. It is used to locate clan members or to define the boundaries of their ter territory to wolves from outside of the pack. The Howling Wolf is medicine for standing your ground and defending that which is rightfully within your guardianship. If this strikes a note within you now, be aware that using your voice and your energy to set boundaries and claim your space is important. The territory is not physical. That is the way of the ego. Mm -hmm. The territory is spiritual. Claiming it means reclaiming and sustaining the right state of mind and the expanded consciousness of open-heartedness to the divine that allows you to determine the quality consciousness and stability of that space for all beings that seek refuge within it. Wolf medicine is the awakening of the pathfinder, the way shower, the teacher. Wolf can learn new ways and teach them to others. Part of your sole purpose is to guide and inspire others through what you learn to master in your own life. We are the people who can do what's needed. We can fight the status quo, ravage the human mind away from inadequate responsiveness, and elicit soul passion and on-the-ground action to take us from merely salvaging what we can into alchemical eco-salvation and the birthing of a new world order. Mm -hmm. Let us recognize ourselves as the empowered ones. The divine has blessed the tribe of the wolf heart with intelligence, individuality, social and community values, commitment and ability to outwit enemies, protect and defend what matters, and adapt to change successfully. May we realize our abilities, tap into the resources we have, and use them fruitfully. May we have joyful courage and confidence in who we are and what we are here to do. 
All right, now. She leaves off with the healing process, and that's why I said that's the part that I'm not going to read through um, here. But if you are interested and want to utilize it, hit me up, and I will definitely uh, send it to you gladly. So, all right. But that is what I have for you, Pile 1. Those of you beautiful Cancerians who chose this pile, these are the messages for you, and I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, but especially in including yourself, and I pray that's what you're here for. Whether or not, like I said, somebody comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so very much for doing that, okay? If you're joining me for another pile, I'll see you there. If not, please take care. Don't forget your love and light because it truly makes everything all right. Deuces. All right. Welcome, my beautiful Cancerians. Those of you who chose this pile, pile number two or the month of November, we are diving in. And these are the messages for you, by the way. We are diving to this beautiful energy excuse me energy of relationships and it's perfect because y'all's all really i mean they always do right but i'm saying especially y'all's because in case you if you didn't check out power one i suggest you do so and really all of them because they're connected i'm trying to tell you there definitely needs to be balance within whatever relationship this has to deal with friend family or otherwise okay not just romantic but any type of relationship and especially within your soul tribe whoever that may be okay um and within you especially first and foremost i should have said that because again like i said so within so without so if you're not balanced within how do you expect anything outside of you to be you know you understand what i'm saying uh this is definitely talking about sacred geometry the seed of life tree of life you know allow it to grow this is all about growing and expanding within you as well especially within your heart way um, the card itself says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I pray that you are. And again, you yourself have to be in a, a state of balance and peace if you want to attract that. You know, whatever state or whoever, whatever it is you are trying to attract in your life, you got to put yourself there first. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it works, you know, because you are what you attract. Okay and the other way around right you got to be that in which you want to attract or at least be in the vibe of it even if you aren't quite there yet because you know this thing called life that's all about growth and evolution and ascension right so you know as long as you're working towards it then you will attract that you know anyway here's your topper oh look at that that's fierce baby that is so fierce immediately i got this is i don't know what obviously is a puma but um i even got cougar are they the same vibes you know i mean the same like tribe the same species a little bit maybe like a cousin or whatever for me to say all that it may have to do literally with um a, a relative right in that respect i also immediately got leo energy i don't know why i just did it's just it's vibrant it's lively there's a transformation occurring within whoever this has to do with whether it's any of those that i just said but it's a transformation occurring within this relationship definitely feel like it's a group of people with this three it's also talking about you coming into harmony and balance mind body and spirit with that three that's my holy trinity right um look at that power awakening and that's what you're realizing like i was just saying about doing it within yourself first and then you will see it manifest outwardly we're going to get to the reading of that. I can't wait to. We're going to get to the reading of that towards the end as well as see what this is towards the end. Okay. All right. Let's see what this may have to deal with for you. Uh-oh. This keep coming out. It then came out in every single reading. Every single reading. Whether on the uh, bottom of the deck or not. And it's always in reverse. I don't understand. Ooh, and I just got a big chill. Oh, my God. This is strong Aries energy. And this is somebody who is not balanced, however. That's what I'm saying. Start with power one first, y'all. <laughs> and then come back. Because that's what we talked about. Straight like that. And even in that four energy, that's all about being balanced, right? As well as your heart chakra. Somebody is... Mm -mm, I don't know. Maybe this is the energy. Or maybe this is somebody who you've been dealing with, you know? Because this can talk about like a, a... I always get like a tyrannical boss. You know, somebody, authority, somebody in authority. And it doesn't just have to be a boss. It could be like, like I said, a rep, especially if it has to do with family. It could be like a, like a, you know, an authority, like a aunt, uncle, mother, father. You know what I'm saying? That type, grandmother, grandfather, whoever. It's masculine. I'm getting heavy uh, masculine energy. But this is somebody who is not stable. I just heard. 
somebody being a B.I. B.I. And it very well may have been you. You know, somebody seeing you like that. I don't know. Fly where it lies. Um, but whoever this is, they need to get right. And if this is not you, which, like I was just saying, I feel like it is many of you, um, then you need to step away from this energy. Make sure you are balanced within before even trying to deal with this, you know? Mm -mm. But I was going to say, I do feel like prayerfully y'all moving up out of that, right? You changing that prayerfully if you take heed to what I told y'all in power one. I don't know. We'll see. Uh -uh. And maybe that's the, 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 the imbalance and the out of balanceness, if that's even a word, that you are feeling, right? That's the tough decision that you're going to have to make. That's crazy because I feel like with this being center of your overall reading, which we'll get to in a wrap up, that's this is that's this is heavy duty, right? Somebody is causing this because uh, even with this, that's definitely manipulative, uh, controlling type of vibes here, and somebody may have been mentally manipulating you. I just heard mind fucking you. I don't know, but whatever. And this could be just your 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 spouse, you know, for those of you who are. Or your mate. Like, you ain't even necessarily have to be married, but whatever. Your partner. You can say that. I don't know. But this this is, that's funny too. Typically, I get that Libra energy. But um, this can be the, talking about that Geminian energy too. That you may have cut off communication with this person for sure. Or somebody not really trying to see what it is. Because I said, oh my God. Because I even said something back here. Um, which, like I said, we'll get into more in the wrap-up. But I said somebody's stuck in the illusion. They don't want to see it. you try trying not to see it. But you need to. You need to, honey. And if this is you, you need to take a real long, hard look in the mirror and, and, and face yourself, you know? I don't know. Let's get, let's get it. Look at here. See? This definitely may have something to do with a, a, a committed or long-term relationship, whoever. Like I say, and this, because this four wands is still like family, because I even get sibling here. Uh, so it can be, it can be almost anybody. I even get, um, I just heard um, same sex relationship, which that really doesn't matter. But if that's where you find yourself in, then it applies. You know what I'm saying? So um, this too, I'm getting strong Leo energy, but I was getting ready to say it very well, maybe Aries energy as well. And, and or even sage but i get stronger leo energy here there's a potential for a celebration especially you got two fours in your reading right and if you turn this one upright this is beautiful energy so there is there's great potential but it's all in what you do with it you have the free will it's your choice really nobody's gonna force you to do anything against your will not even god to be quite honest but it comes a point though when if when enough is enough and like i was just saying even back here that's powerful too thank you spirit um many of you hopefully are realizing or will realize that whatever whoever has rejected you or whatever you've been rejected or denied from um that's god's protection so and i was getting ready to say because I, I got the tower energy which is all about changes and it's force it's like divine timing as well and it's that for that's when spirit like they just like all right you you, you enough is enough we got to reroute you so you can see what you're doing you know what i mean to try to wake you up that's generally when people go through that awakening like that strong like i said awakening where they like bam like you can't help but wake up you know what i'm saying because your life will be in so much shambles it's not even funny and if you don't see it then mm, <laughs> it's gonna they're gonna push you push you hard enough to where you see it you can't you ain't gonna have no choice but to see it you know what i'm saying that that blindfold it will be removed I just heard willing or unwilling, but you know, it'll get to a point where you will, you will be, be begging for it. You will surrender. Yep. Yep. So let's see what the potential abundance look at here. And this is what you need to do. This is, this is definitely going back to power one, talking about that groundedness, being balanced. Look at that. I love that. What, what is that? A goat? I don't even know what kind of animal that is. But anyway, it says many of, many of the most evolved beings on earth are quote regular in quote folks living with joy dignity and courage i'm telling y'all i was going back to power one for sure for sure for sure mm -hmm. that's that earth energy too by the way um heavy taurus is what i heard so get grounded could be virgo and or cappy included okay and um let me just show y'all really quickly before we get into the reading of this totemic uh puma the overall underall energies for the 
decks. We got the Knight of Pentacles, which again, I told y'all is that heavy earth energy and I always get towards strong. Could be, like I said, Virgo or Cappy included. This is slow moving energy. We'll get to it definitely in the wrap up, but um, it's just patience is what I heard as well. Having patience with yourself, taking time for yourself. And then we got for the divine abundance, this beautiful divine love. And this is talking about opening up and surrendering and allowing, being vulnerable to the agape love is what I feel, but we'll get back to it again in the wrap up and then finally for the topper your overall under all energy is this beautiful turquoise changing woman okay and that number two is always talking about to me choosing to come together um with your divine feminine and masculine energies okay all right so let's get to this totemic i hope i'm saying that right puma the number three pages 40 through 43 but what i will read you will end on 42 okay and again we're diving deeper into this beautiful fierce energy power awakening i am puma i awaken within you the vigorous energy fierce look at that fierce power and ability to act without hesitation when the moment is right my patience and strategy my preparation and precision my fearlessness and decisiveness are now your own Allow my sacred medicine to fill your soul and bring courage to your heart. I told y'all it's going back to power one. I can't make this up. It's all connected though, for it's beautiful. You have come into your power. In a reading, you've got this. Don't let fear or hesitation hold you back. Apply yourself fully to the task. Let go of old ways of viewing yourself as incapable, scattered, or wasteful of energy. That's both the Emperor in reverse and that two of swords, okay? You have the ability to focus intently, to generate clear intentions, and to achieve your ambitions through methodical steps and an applied will. That's that Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, yes? You have the internal resources you need for, for successful completion. Even if no one else recognizes your potential and believes in your future success, in due course, they will understand differently. By then, you will already be moving on to your next task, which is again, that Knight of Pentacles, yes? Trust your sense of timing. Have patience. When you know it is the time to leap, do it without hesitation. That's also, that's that's what that is too. This Emperor in reverse because, you know, that the Aries energy is also the uh, fool for me, right? And that is all about faith and taking that leap, okay? And moving on, you know, knowing when to take action, when to move without hesitation. So anyway, spiritual guidance. Puma moves through your soul as guardian and guide. When Puma appears, it is a significant sign that you have come into your power. Puma moves with stealth and silence, observing, being patient as she narrows her focus. She cultivates energy so that the correct amount of inner power for the outer action is there when needed. When she strikes, it is with precision and effectiveness. She doesn't waste energy. She chooses her opportunities. Hesitation is not in her nature. There is no time or energy for doubt and uncertainty when one is fully engaged in conscious participation in the moment. You may wonder if this sounds much like you. You may consider yourself to be, at least sometimes, more of a doubter than one prone to fearlessness and certainty. Yet the soul medicine of Puma builds within us silently. We may not even realize that her power is there until all of a sudden, when it is needed, we act with unerring focus and unwavering commitment. We literally didn't know we had it in us until the time came and as an attitude of swift unfailing responsiveness, responsiveness somehow rose up from within. Puma moves with stealth until the right moment to act is upon her. Then she leaves her cover behind and with unwavering focus she strikes. You are guided by her to keep your motives, plans, and preparation out of the public view. Attend to your work. Become ready to be it rather than talk about it. All right. <laughs> Part of this medicine is strategy, planning, visualizing the end result. This requires simplicity and clarity. Even if the destiny you are seeking to manifest is big and bold, there will still be simple steps to take along the way. Puma is the huntress with singular focus. She goes after what is required in that moment, one step at a time, and thereby attains her goals. She strikes successfully because she works precisely. Take time to formulate your goals and go after them one by one with a sense of patience and calculated timing. Take charge of the situation by your willingness to be patient, to bide your time, to cultivate energy and courage, and trust your intuition to leap when you know the right moment is upon you. Puma might bring us the power we need to step up into a new role, seize control of a failing project, cut off a toxic situation in our lives, or cease unhelpful negative self-talk in our own mind. That two of swords as well, right? 
She indicates that a changing relationship with power is available to you now. That's the whole point of this is your relationships and the change therein that needs to occur. Yes. If you have been repelled by negative uses of power by others that emperor in reverse or even yourself, recognize this and let it go. Forgive. Wow. Moving perfectly into power three. It says forgive. Give yourself the chance to open up to using your power in a safe and wise way. Know that you are smart enough to learn from what didn't honor your soul in the past. When you ask for great spirit to guide you from within your heart, your movements in the world shall benefit more than only yourself. This right use of power, surrendered and in service to the great power of the divine, will help you overcome your reluctance and lay claim to your will. You need your will to transform inspiration into action. The world truly needs this from you. Whatever it is that you dream of attaining or desire to do in this world, Puma arise with this message. You have the power, honey. Mm -hmm. And that's italicized, so it must be emphasized, right? And again, she leads off with the healing um, process. So if you are interested, um, just hit me up and I will gladly send it to you. I feel like something just bit me or stung me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but that's what I have for you, my beautiful Cancerian. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies below. You never know how this may help someone grow, especially in including yourself. And I pray that's what you're here for. Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. Until the next one, y'all be easy. And don't forget your love and light it makes everything all right. If you are joining me for another pod, I'll see you there. If not, please take care. But stay tuned for the wrap up because it'll all make sense. I promise you. All right. This is all right. Welcome, my beautiful Cancerians. For those of you who chose this pile, pile number three, this is the pile, and these are the messages for you. Now we're gonna dive deeper into this forgiveness energy. This is powerful. Screaming sacral chakra may have something to do with a more romantic partner than any other, but this is scorpionic energy as well that I'm feeling heavy. Um, strong, emotional, some, some, somebody that you definitely are or have been connected to and vibing with, even if it's not a romantic partner, y'all. Um, because I definitely have gotten throughout all of these uh, more of a like soul tribe, maybe even familial relationship, you know, like a relative or even if they're not blood related, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah so it could be almost anybody i do feel like too is talking about forgiving yourself of course first and foremost for whatever past transgressions you may have felt you um i just heard encountered or inflicted you know i don't know like it says um forgive them for their trespasses as they have um trespassed against me you know what i'm saying um so and then i'm hearing forgive them father for they know not what they do oh um sorry I'm trying to get into it, y'all, because this, this, I feel like this has been going on, <laughs> on and on and on and on. The side keeps moving like a rolling stone. I feel like y'all may have had past life relationships, obviously, because if you a soul tribe, you connected, right? Y'all been together in various incarnations, whether as lovers, siblings, um, uh, friends, however it applies in your life. Could even have been an enemy at one point. You know what I'm saying? But it's all, the whole purpose is this the agape love, which we'll get to um, towards the end and, and more deeper in the wrap up. But that's exactly what it has to deal with. That's the abundance coming through, potentially, if you take heed, you know what I mean? And, and utilize the advice. Um, the card itself says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And that's what I'm telling y'all. That's what it's all about okay so let's see what this may have to deal with let's get into your topper here which oh i'm not gonna butcher that name but this is a beautiful card they're all beautiful i love this deck um medicine of the butterfly kashina and y'all know butterflies symbolize transformation so there definitely needs to be something to change as i said i feel like from the beginning bring balance into the situation it within yourself first and foremost and into your life and you will see that manifest outwardly as well um i definitely feel like 
the throat chakra here is needing to be activated, transformed. Maybe you need to speak that peace and love over yourself. Forgive yourself, like I said, and maybe with that Gemini energy, this is something that you're needing to speak not only to yourself, but to someone else, potentially, whoever it may be, or somebody may be needing to speak this to you. Her third eye and her crown is definitely spotting. It's shrieking, y'all. Mm -hmm. I feel like you will see it. Once you do that, once you give this, and that's powerful with that six, too, because I, I told y'all from the beginning, or I thought I did. Anyway, it's about the, I think there was more going to power one. But like I said, if you ain't checked out any of the other powers, you should, probably should do so even before coming here because it all stacks up and works together, you know. Um, but uh, But I've definitely been saying four and six are potent numbers for you. And we'll get to it in the wrap up, but especially the number four here. But they both have the energy um, of that balance and stability that is needed within you and within whatever relationship or whoever you're dealing with, situation you're dealing with, whatever. I don't know. But we'll get to the reading of this a little later, as well as get into this towards the end, okay? All right, let's see what this may have to deal with for you. See? Ooh, we. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I don't like that. This is that mother and nurturing. This is heavy Virgo energy for me. And this is someone, it may have to do with a motherly figure for you, whether blood related or not. And that can be anybody from your actual mother to an aunt, sister, cousin. I was even going to say brother, uncle. You know, it's just somebody. This is that strong divine feminine essence, right? This is somebody who's nurturing, who has and does take care of themselves because Virgos are all about health, wealth, and well-being. I mentioned something in power one about your assets being frozen and definitely i mean this is abundant energy potentially if upright come on camera come on okay sorry y'all but um yeah when balanced you know somebody definitely needs to get into that earth energy to balance themselves to stabilize themselves to ground themselves going back to power two you know and they're not and that's powerful too because virgo is ruler of the sixth house that energy right Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. It's something about it, y'all. Something about it. Forgive yourself. And especially your mother. And wow, because at the time of filming, happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful divine feminines out there. You know, and it don't just you ain't just gotta be a woman. Obviously, we I mean that's the whole kind of uh societal um let me see. I guess societal role or projection of Mother's Day, right? But no, I tell it to the to the daddies out there too who have to play that all the roles, right? And that's funny because you know I even told I told my uncle that I wished him happy Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? Bo I do it I do it and I said that's a celebration that that's a day. That's something to celebrate every day. You know what I mean? That's powerful. So maybe you need to take the time, Cancerian. That's powerful too because you are you are that nurturing, loving, healing energy as well. And take that fourth house energy of yours and really stabilize your family. Stabilize your own home first and foremost, which is your heart. You know what I'm saying? It's like big, heavy heart energy with the number four. And each sign has had a number like pop up for them or that really resonates more so with them. You actually got two. You got four and six. And I can't remember now who six came out heavy for. Maybe Gemini. That's probably why I keep getting that heavy Gemini energy. Either way, though, I feel like you definitely may want to check them out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting chills, y'all. Let's, let's move on. Wow. Y'all, some of y'all are resisting. Resisting heavy, heavy, heavy resisting. And here's that scorpionic energy. I told y'all I was feeling it. This is the death, that transformation in reverse, the number 13, which again, potentially a four. <laughs> I got, I heard way out. Somebody may be trying to find a way out and that's powerful with this. We're going to get to it again in the, um, in the wrap up, but somebody may be trying to find their way out of something, maybe even just your whole mindset, you know, that negative, doubtful, maybe that's how you have been in the past. And then I heard, I was hearing, um, what's his name? Gotta find my way back, way back. Jaheen, to you, baby. Trying to find my way back. 
way that yeah because I, I said that in, even in power one somebody's not really trying to um not really trying to leave a situation but they probably need to you know not even probably should that was the advice or just surrender to it maybe stop trying to force your will in it you know what i'm saying trying to manipulate it so much let it be what it is and what it should be let it transform let it breathe something like that oh my god definitely mm -mm. it's not going nowhere whatever this is whoever this is this is not this it's not it and this is too with the ace of cups in reverse this is all about that self-love energy as well which many of you need to bring into that that's that's the whole reason why your pal is titled forgiveness you're needing to bring that into yourself first and foremost before you will see it and heal and nurture yourself allow yourself to change especially if this was you because I, I told you i feel like that was many of you if you missed that or skipped that power you might want to go back and see what we were talking about but um i definitely feel like that that's that that may have been you cancer controlling you know y'all know how we can get shouts out to you i definitely i definitely know heavy cancer <laughs> i mean you know my cancer moon we can get you know if it ain't going your way y'all know how it can get when you when you in that low vibe so um but it again it takes it takes time y'all but it starts with you you are the only one that you can change i'll be telling y'all that you can't force nobody to do nothing against their will just like they can't force you you know anyway um start here start with loving yourself first and you i mean if you don't i'll be trying to tell people too if you don't, if you don't love yourself more than anybody else or anything else how do you expect somebody to give that to you like be real i said that coming back here <laughs> you gotta be if you're trying to um if you're trying to bring in or attract something or someone in your life you got to make sure you're there first you know what i'm saying or you're at least vibing on that level even if you don't have let's say all of the financial stability yet you got to be working towards it you got to how else do you think you're going to attract that you attract that which you are so if you're not in trying to get in higher vibration because that's the only way that you change you got to be that change you want to see and in order to, i love it i saw a meme the other day that said basically that in order to be the change you want to see you have to change your vibration that's the only way it works you can't continue to be in this low vibe negative energy and expect yourself to bring forth higher vibe stuff you know it just don't make it don't make sense make it make sense way it don't so let's see your potential abundance if you decide to change change like i said you got to focus on you first honey and i love it because i feel like they said it here in the reading of the wolf playing heart it's the and which is powerful because the whole topic and lesson of discussion is that beautiful balance energy and in order to do so you got to understand the balance between nurturing thyself and giving to the group and that's why i be trying to tell people all the time too and especially the staff that helps care for my family is that you gotta i'll be telling them you gotta take care of yourself first and foremost that's not being selfish that's wise because if you can't take care of yourself how you gonna how you gonna be at full capacity to take care of my family you know what i mean it just don't work like that so put take your take care of yourself first and look you got your whole tribe you got support here whether it's in the physical or just divine it's powerful it says every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school <laughs> which i love this thing called life that's the best that's the best teacher right that's the best way to learn just by experience and getting out you so anyway once again um i don't even know if i showed y'all yet but the overall underall energy for the tarot is this knight of earth heavy taurus energy as well as potential virgo i mean you got virgo here but this is definitely telling you to move on this is slow and steady which that wins the race this is very slow in moving energy it's the slowest night in all out of all the nights but it's methodical it's practical it's grounded take advantage of that energy all right and then for the overall underall for the abundance this is the potential you have and this is just surrendering and allowing yourself to open up and be vulnerable to this agape love bring it into thyself first and foremost okay and then you have it to give and then finally 
which again we'll get all we we'll get into these a little deeper in the wrap up but you for the um for the toppers here the overall adult energy is this turquoise changing woman okay all right so let's get into the reading of this beautiful <laughs> medicine of butterfly kashina i'm gonna say palhik mana i don't know i don't want to butcher it but that's what i'm saying okay <laughs> all right let's see what they got for you beautiful balance in the number six pages 52 Wow, through 55. For what I'm going to read to you, it ends on 54. And I believe I said something about the number 52 in this. I know I did in that balance energy. So it's bringing me back to that. Here we go. On wings of hope, Butterfly Kashina guides you through an ending to the light of new life within. It is your transition into a happier time of increased pleasure and delight, especially if you have experienced great struggle or loss. The spirit medicine of Butterfly brings hopeful promise to your heart. Here is your sign that there will be happiness, peace, and light. Trust in the goodness being birthed. In a reading, an apparently lost cause or shattered dream was a necessary part of your transformational journey. What was sacrificed can be reborn into something that's powerful with that scorpionic energy in the center, potentially, but you got to allow it. It says what was sacrificed can be reborn into something even more beautiful. You are not meant to turn to the past. Mm, mm, mm. As it goes back to this, power one. I'm telling y'all, and I told if you did if you missed it, I told y'all then it's you gotta move on. It ain't nothing there for you in the past. You can't change none of that. Anyways. Trust me, see, you are not meant to turn to the past as it cannot support you in the way it once did. Trust that you have the inner resources to handle what is happening within you and in your life. You are moving towards a significant psycho psychological, emotional, and perhaps also physical breakthrough and transformation. You may have an inner sense of discomfort, signaling, signaling that something new is unfolding within. It is natural to initially feel a little awkward or, un, or uncertain in the face of the unfamiliar. This is a good sign of change stirring from within. Allow nature to take its course. Trust in what is happening, even whilst you don't fully understand it. It will turn out beautifully in the end, and in parentheses they said, which, is, which will also happen to be a new beginning. Yes, that's the whole point in that death and rebirth energy. Yes? Spiritual guidance. There are moments when even those of us with great courage feel tested beyond our faith. Doubt, darkness, and despair can creep into our minds and lash our hearts with fear. Perhaps there seems to be good reason for our pain. The loss of a loved one, a cherished hope dashed, disturbing human behavior, the state of the environment, or some other unexpected and painful shock. There may be no particular reason for it, and yet we are somehow gripped by feelings of anxiety or despair that we cannot resolve no matter how hard we try. The healing soul medicine of the butterfly kashina comes to you now to alleviate your suffering to remind you that everything you have gone through has been part of what has made you strong compassionate and wise when all seems lost perhaps especially then our soul needs the gift of seeing the light love and wisdom of great spirit at work behind all things at all times always reaching out to us and always offering love the soul needs faith and hope like the body needs air to breathe faith keeps the soul alive and well you do not have to regret anything that has happened you do not have to judge yourself for any other or wish that things have been different you have not missed out you have not messed up you have been learning and growing what is required from from you now is willingness to let it fall away because the person you once were actually no longer exists you may not fully realize it yet like the butterfly trying to crawl on the ground like a caterpillar you may mourn the loss of your old caterpillar ways yet if you take a moment to witness yourself anew now you'll realize you are not the person from two years or 10 years ago. You can then open to the gifts that Butterfly Kashina is bringing to you now. Well-being, new life, vibrancy, freedom, and happiness. If you have been working hard on an issue, on yourself or on a cause in the world, and it seems to be going nowhere, Butterfly Kashina reminds you that in the divine alchemy of transformation, things sometimes appear to be going backwards as they move forward. It is the way of things. After summer, there's autumn and then winter, all of which indicate progress towards the next spring. If you didn't understand the creative purpose and regenerative nature of the season, you might be frightened by the winter, concerned that it signified the world was ending. With knowledge of the sacred feminine wisdom of the seasons, you are not afraid of winter. You see it as an essential part of life. You may even learn to nurture and restore yourself during that time, gaining conscious benefit and appreciation for it. If you feel you are in a spiritual or emotional winter in your life, have hope. The soul unfolds according to seasons, just as nature does. 
Let your heart and mind rest and trust that life is growing your soul into its beautiful fulfillment. That is gorgeous. And she leaves off with the healing process. And like I told all other piles, if you are interested, just hit me up and I will gladly send it to you. Um, I'm going to leave it there for those of you who chose this pile, pile three. This is the pile and these are the messages for you. And I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, but especially in including yourself. And I pray that's what you're here for. And whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. If you want to join me for another pile that you have not yet seen, I will see you there. If not, please take care and stay tuned for the wrap up. It'll all make sense there, I promise you. Until the next one, y'all, please be easy and don't forget your love and light because it truly makes everything all right. Deuces. All right, you guys, welcome. Welcome, my beautiful Cancerians, to your wrap up. We're going to try to get through this, y'all. Since the wind and calmed down, <laughs> we'll try to get through these with them standing up. And I don't want to have to mess with them too much. Um, but anyways, let's get on into it, shall we? It's a little nipply out here, y'all. <laughs> and so I'm trying to get on through this so I can I can get gone. So somebody, like for real, some of y'all may have uh, felt cold or even had someone being cold towards you. I don't know. But um but um but anyway so that's another another message out for somebody but anyway as we looked in power one we look deeper into this balance energy so let's not forget that we dive deeper into that and um if in case you missed it i highly recommend you go back because i'm sure you missed some vital information to see what we talked about because it all connects and coincides what you were about to see we talked about surrendering, basically surrendering to whatever this is in order to bring balance and peace and harmony into your life. The numbers four and six are very much so important for your for your group overall cancer, no matter which pile you chose. It's heavy duty energy talking about balance, peace, harmony, stability, especially within your fourth chakra, your heart, which has been the overall theme for y'all um, to bring in this beautiful divine agape love here. Uh, which the card itself says um, when you offer everything to the divine with attachment you begin a love affair with spirit okay so that's some powerful energy and it starts with self to be quite honest you are the only one that you can control and change you know and because everybody has their free will we can't rightfully assert our free will onto any other because it gets into this emperor in reverse which is that manipulative bossy controlling type of energy and that you can't do you know what i'm saying it doesn't work that way it never does when you when you find yourself in that energy i don't care who you talking to or talking about because it definitely has something to do with relationships for y'all with this being front and center of your overall reading heavy duty okay but again i feel like it starts with relationship with thyself first and foremost okay bringing that into balance and harmony forgiving yourself as we move into pile three Forgiving yourself for whatever transgressions, you know what I'm saying? Against yourself, first and foremost, and of course, having to do with anybody else outside of you. I don't know. Um, anyway, it starts first with surrendering to the divine and allowing or calling in or asking for that help to get you through this transformation, the change that you want to see and be. And I even mentioned, I feel like I want to say here with this being the center of your overall reading, in order for you to be the change that you want to see, you have it starts with you and it starts within you and you have to get yourself to a higher vibration. That's just the way that it works. That's the only way that it works. You have to allow this transformation. You cannot resist it anymore. And I very much so feel like it's strong heart shock or transformation here. Because like I even said with this balance energy, as far as like this is talking about all the upper chakras to me. And in order to get there, you got to start from the bottom. <laughs> you know, you got to go through the heart chakra in order to get to the uppers. That's where it starts. Bringing in that love energy for thyself. Like I said, having the courage. This is all this Leo energy here. The courage. That's all about um, uh, strength like to surrender, to know when to walk away, when to let go, when to let God. You know what I'm saying? Um, here you got the clan of the wolf heart as your um, topper. And that was talking about that whole balance, especially within that heart, as it said, 
right? Going back to your roots even and allowing just instinctively things to, to occur, like using your intuition, you know, not fighting it, not resisting it. And then we moved into the, the topper with this, this totemic puma, which is talking about that, that, that fierceness yet patience. You know what I'm saying? Like knowing that, that they move around stealthily and they know when to act and when not to. You know what I'm saying? But in order to really harness this power, you very much so have to be grounded and stable within, right? And then moving into this number six, the polymana, which is the medicine of the butterfly, Kashina, that's the whole six energy. Again, talking about that stability and balance and groundedness in order to move. It's all about that love, peace, and harmony as well to be in a balanced place. But some of you truly are not with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse and especially this um, transformation of the death and rebirth in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. It's like some of you really haven't forgiven yourself for past, like I said, transgression. And it's just like, let it be, baby. It's over and done with. You cannot change that. Okay? It's done. Now it's time to move with this Knight of Pentacles as the overall underall energy within um, for the tarot. It's time to move methodically and practically and with being grounded here, especially, you know, um, move out of this negative low vibe. Mental manipulation. I feel like some of y'all, I said somebody may have been doing that to you, whether it's an authority figure or not, like a boss or even just an authority in your family or soul tribe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I feel like many of you, it's just you yourself, to be quite honest, that, that has been doing this to yourself. You've been mind fucking yourself, like to believe lies and you've been manipulating yourself. If you feel like you've been trying to do that and control somebody else, you're really only doing that to yourself, you know? That's just how it works. I don't know. But especially with this individuality coming out and what they talked about here in the clan of the wolf heart, they talked about finding the balance within, um, especially uh, within like having, spending time with yourself and nurturing and healing yourself and balancing that with the community or with your soul tribe or family or whoever, the group, you know, the relationships outside of you that you're dealing with. That, that's the overall vibe, I feel like, truly. But for most of y'all, Cancer, because we, we we love hard. You know what I'm saying? We give our hearts. We really be taking care of more of others than we do for ourselves a lot of the times, which is why this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, because Virgos do the same thing. I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> um, and so it's like, it's like in, in the end, the only person who's left out in the cold or in the dark is yourself. And I feel like you have to, it's time for you to forgive yourself for doing that. Oh my, yeah, that's that's time, it's time to go. <laughs> um, they got a whole group, I guess, coming to do their little celebration, but that's really what I have for you. I'm going to go ahead and get into the reading of your overall underall energy for this, uh, what is this? The turquoise change of woman for your, the, um, your topper pile. And then you got, look, Mandala of the Moon, the Mamakila, the number 35 underneath it, which is um, talking about, look, that, and then I say something about Gemini Moon to begin with. Some of y'all truly, that's confirmation. Check your moon sign. I don't know. It could be any other signs that I've already said here. But uh, so we're going to get into this reading and I'm probably just going to do that as a voiceover. Okay. So we can get on and not have a whole lot of distraction in the background. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, my beautiful Cancerians. Let's see if we can go ahead and get through this reading. I don't think we can escape any background noise. It's just, I don't know. I guess that's just <laughs> the vibe, man. And that's probably why I got that, that channel message with that Gemini energy and the frustration and everything to begin with and that Five of Swords energy. But anyway, let's go on and get into this. Uh, I don't know how you really pronounce it. It's Estanatleje. It's I don't know. Turquoise change of woman in the number two, pages 36 through 39. For what I will read to you, I do believe we will end up on page 38. Okay. I am the turquoise moon mother, and I come to you now with a message of change. <laughs> like I said, changes. And look, I don't know what's going on with my third chakra <clears throat> either, but. I'm telling y'all, it's man, and that Gemini energy worked with that that mercurial energy of communication. 
speaking of that throat chakra, it may have something to do with the Taurus, y'all. But you may find changes in your voice occurring, changes in your throat chakra. I feel like it's really just removal of any blockages that have kept you in that two of swords energy where you wasn't speaking up or speaking your piece or whatever the case may be, right? Allow it to open up. Allow it to transform, all right? It says, this may be change that you want or change that you fear. But either way, I will show you how to use this change to become stronger, wiser, and more empowered to fulfill your divine destiny. <laughs> Keep lifting me higher and higher. Mm -hmm. Do not fear the changes around you and within you. Trust in the timing of what is happening in your world. In a reading, change is upon you. It is essential for your continued growth, and you do not need to fear it. As you allow for this change, remain steadfast in your inner spiritual connection. This gives you courage. Wow, God one. Trust, peace, and reassurance. And that's powerful because with that trust, and I told y'all, I had um I had to start it all over when I was getting ready to start the reading for Gemini, right? And um the the funny thing is, and I know it's no coincidence, trust was the divine abundance, the overall underall 222 on the timer, the overall underall divine abundance. Where you have divine love, trust was there for them, right? <laughs> or for what was supposed to be them, right? But I feel like it still has something to do with and has something to do with you. Anyway, so it says this gives you courage, trust, peace, and reassurance, and you will find ways to navigate the shift so that your life improves through the process. If you are thinking of making a change, you are encouraged to do so without trying to force it. Like I said, the emperor reverse energy. Don't manipulate it. Just let it be what it shall. Be open and do your part to the best of your ability, but also tune into your sense of, di of divine timing, asking the universe for help and allowing life to unfold according to its own rhythm of creative, loving intelligence. I love that. All right spiritual guidance and i don't know what is going on with my throat chakra because it did not start until i honestly turned on the camera <clears throat> all right oh, okay so here it goes it says it's whatever the name of it but it says pronounced istan at lule luhe istan at lule wait a minute <laughs> istan at luhe istan at lule Anyway, I hope I'm saying that right. Is the turquoise moon goddess of the Navajo, known as changing woman. She's always changing and yet never dies. As she begins to age, wow, that is powerful because that is the whole death and rebirth scorpionic energy all wrapped up. Yeah, that's powerful. And that's eternal life. And I love it because turquoise in and of itself is that all over healing and will definitely help you remove any blockages and change transform right mm -mm -mm. so as she begins to age she simply turns to walk to the east the direction of the rising sun and beginnings where she is renewed that de death and rebirth that renewal her blessings are for nourishment renewal of energy and new beginnings she brings hope and reminds us that life is constantly renewing itself around us and within us yes sir yes ma'am we can always begin again in that spirit of renewal in the face of loss or destruction, her presence brings comfort, hope, and peace so that rather than losing faith and giving up because we feel defeated, we have the courage to continue to fight for what matters with her fresh reserves of energy and enthusiasm. If we are struggling with change, either too much of it or perhaps too little of it, I don't know how you say it, Estan Atuluhe comes to us with reassuring guidance. When something is in need of repair, Great Spirit knows how to restore it. When something needs to end, Great Spirit will show the way to empty ourselves of the past and prepare for a new beginning. When there is a lack, when there is lack or deprivation, the abundance and generosity of the universe shall bring fullness. We do not need to fear change, whether wanted or unwanted. We just need to trust in the good and loving workings of the universe. Estanat Uhe reminds us of the divine feminine wisdom and power which express itself as life, always flowing, always changing, always evolving. Ain't that what I said? <laughs> I swear I said that in Pal 3. That's the whole beauty of life. That's the greatest teacher. To always, it's ever changing. It's evolving. It's ascension. It's growing. Oh, wow. I love it. I tell you, it all wraps up and makes sense. They, they put it together in a little bow just for you. It's beautiful energy. Anyways, and then it says, um, let's see. We belong to life and can trust in it. Evolution is not always easy. Often it requires tremendous courage of heart and inner strength. 
Yet the turquoise moon mother will help us respond to any change in a way that increases love, light, and wisdom within us and the world. Turquoise changing woman is also known as the conqueror of monsters and the bringer of blessings, especially when we feel that we are under attack or lacking something that we need. She teaches us that it is safe to rest our unconditional faith in divine grace. We make our efforts as wholeheartedly as we can, but in the gap between what we can do and what needs to be accomplished for beauty, peace, and healing to happen on this planet, divine grace is there as the bridge, the catalyst, the miracle worker. Grace does not do the work for us, but it does empower our efforts and assist us in fulfilling our purpose in ways the, in ways the mind can rarely anticipate. I feel like that's that two of swords energy. Grace is the invisible and empowering hand of great spirit reaching for us daily. I was about to say teaching, which still is teaching us daily as well. So Turquoise Moon Mother watches over us with the reminder that we are not in this alone, that the divine is our creative partner in all pursuits. And I told y'all that, especially in, um, what y'all just get, the individuality, yes? Okay, we only need ask for help to be given, to realize that it is already there, waiting for us to receive it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then, of course, like the others, she leaves off with the earth. Listen to me. I just looked at the front of the uh, book, but uh, she leaves off with a healing process. And if you are interested, you can very much so hit me up and I will gladly send it to you. OK, I'm going to leave it there, my beautiful souls. And I pray that it resonates with you. 747 on the timer. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, but especially including yourself. And I pray that's what you're here for. And whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. If you would like to join us for another Pick a Card Reading 808 on the timer, you can check the link in the description box and or any of the other playlists on my channel, okay? Um, or if you're looking for anything else for that matter, there are plenty of other videos and join us during the Moonology series, y'all, that we got going on. Very much so enlightenment and just being aware of the energy and the vibe that we are all affected by, okay? Anyway, I pray to see you there and in any of the other videos. Until the next one, y'all, please be easy. Don't forget your love and light because it truly makes everything all right. Deuces.